So we have a problem here where we're given information about a population growing and all we're given is the initial population uh, that is 533 and the derivative which is 77 and they're both at the time zero in this case times measured in days and they're asking us what will the population be in 13 days. Now I want to warn you it's very common to use exponential growth and if you were doing that your I would use f of t is p naught e to the r times t. Uh, this, however, is not what we're going to be doing in this particular problem. But there's nowhere in here that tells you it's a linear relationship or exponential or some other relationship. So let's think about why this would have to be linear. Well, one of the reasons is because we're in calculus one and this question comes up very early on in the derivatives so you don't know many derivatives however in the context of this problem all we're given is an initial value and an initial slope and the only estimation you can really make off that the initial value is a point the slope tells you how steep it is and all you can create from that information is a line and so that's exactly what we're going to do right now So t is our variable, p of t equals, let's just use the regular mx plus b, but of course we have to use t, not x. All right, that's p of t. In calculus, generally take a derivative is a smart move. This is a t derivative, and there's only one uh, t to the first power. So a t derivative is m times one plus zero, and of course you don't need to write the plus zero. So this is p of t and p prime of t. And we can go ahead and use p prime of zero is m, however it's also 77. So that tells us m. And regular p of zero, so it's m times zero plus b. Now I could have used 77 in for m, but m is disappearing. So it's just b, so p of 0 is b, but it's also 533, so that's b, 533. Put all this together, we have our p of t function equals 77t plus 533. And they, in the question, asked us how many mosquitoes in 13 days? So you're just plugging in 13. And this number you will see right here. And I did run it on the calculator somewhere. Where did I leave it? Right there. So that's the computation done on the calculator. I don't know why the other thing disappears, but 77 times 13 plus 553 is 1554. And you see it right there on the problem page.